hey guys welcome to yet another tutorial and in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made this lovely mommy styled wedding gown okay so i'm going to be sharing with you guys both the pattern drafting the cutting the sewing everything as much as i can so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and let's get into this video so for this bridal um mermaid dress that i'm going to be creating i've already drafted the patterns and this tutorial is should be an advanced tutorial it's not really for beginners okay so you must know the basics how to draft a basic body pattern a basic skirt a basic mermaid um skirt pattern and all that so um this is my skirt pattern this is a size 12 this is the waistline the hip line this is from the waist to the hip from the hip to the knee and from the knee to the full length so the full length of this my pattern paper is 55 and i'll be increasing it up to 65 on my main fabric okay so this is basically a very simple mermaid skirt and i'm going to be slashing and spreading from the knee line to the full length line okay in order to get that whole full mermaid effect because this mermaid effect i drew in here is just very it's very little so i'm going to be slashing and spreading it on my fabric so the basic bodice pattern that's the pattern for the top that i'm using is a combination of i first drafted my basic bodies okay then um i drafted out my strapless bodice pattern as well like sort of like incorporating this whole um strapless um, effect into the basic bodies okay i did my under bust um that i also um drawing that at the upper chest line okay so this is going to give us one um, i'm going to drop the inspiration picture for this mermaid gown so you'd understand the reason for having this line going from the armhole all the way to the bust down to the waist okay so that's the style that i want the top of this um, mermaid wedding gown to be so the back is a basic bodice pattern okay it's just a basic bodice i may be um adding um a lace up back to it the one whole one with rings and eyelet and all that so i'm not sure yet and this is the top so i may be changing the neckline for the top but for now let's just leave it this way so this part of the this part of the of the um basic um this part of the you know pattern for the top is going to be an illusion it's going to it's going to be an illusion um fabric i'm going to be using an illusion fabric for this top part okay then this part is going to be the whole um lace this is going to be padded either i do bust caging or i pad it with my normal um wording and all that okay or i use an already made bra cup these are the three options that i have okay so um i will not be including a side that no this that's up here and this one is already taking care of it for me so let me go just go straight to my fabric and then what i'm going to do now is to open up this um this mermaid skirt you know the whole slashing and spreading so you just watch and learn how i am cutting it So you, you're not going to cut it all the way to the end just a little bit here so the measurement from here to here you can decide how you want it to be but i'm guessing mine should be around three four inches okay so mine is four inches okay you can make yours here three inches or two inches but this is what i want then i've opened up the lower parts now i'm going to open up from the knee area because we're also going to be slashing and spreading the knee part so this is basically how your pattern should be so you don't slash it all the way to the end okay just about half an inch towards the edge so let me show you how my pattern is this is it right now this is the pattern so i'm going to get my fabric and tell you guys the fabric that i'm using and all so this is how my pattern is looking like 
for the moment skirt okay so i have my thread i have my bone in because i'll be using it to secure the darts for the top i have my zip i'll also i'll be using this sort of i'll be doing this sort of clothes um lace up back the one with both the zip and the whole um lace up back rope effect okay i'll be doing both of them then i have my satin you can use duchess i also have duchess for this so if i don't use this i'll be using my duchess as well so this is basically basically what i'll be working with right um now okay if there are other things or other materials that i'll use i'll let you know um you also need crinoline or this whole horse hair something to create the whole um wavy effects at the bottom i'll still show you guys that one later okay so this is it now this is how i opened up the slash i is already pinned in, in place it's already pinned in place so this part is on fold the center front part so this is it i'm going to be cutting it from here all the way so I'm okay with this um, fullness. You can decide to um, increase the whole fullness, like, you know, um, extending it further, but I'm okay with this sort of fullness. So this is not, there's no basic measurement. Okay, so go with whatever that's on your mind. If you like this effect, you can leave the whole spreading like this, or you can still increase it further, you know, pushing this one backwards. That's it. Here is what I have. So this is it. So I cut out the bottom of this lace, but I'm going to be still adding it back. Like I'm going to cut this right now, the way it is. And then I'm going to attach it down here, okay, to make it longer. Cause from here to here, it's about seven inches extra, and I need 10, 10 inches. I, I decided to add 10 inches extra but from here to here right now is seven so by the time I add this lace down back here it's going to give me the total 10 inches that I need so it's time to cut the back and the back will have a train So this is how the back is. It's about 15 inches longer. The whole um, whole chain and all that. So this is it. So right here in this video, I'm just showing you guys that I've cut out my front pattern. I cut out the dots. I um, detached the illusion, the pattern for the illusion mesh from the lower part and we're going to keep that aside and move over to the back pattern. So like I said, I'm going to be doing a two in one back pattern here. I'm going to be adding both a zip and a lace up back to this and before I do that, I'm going to adjust the neckline for the back. I don't want it to be this um, circular, you know, regular um, neckline for the back. So I want it to be a deep V. So that's what I'm going in here. I'm using my scissors to um, cut out the V back neckline that I want. I want my back neckline to be V-shaped. I don't want it to be like the other one that I drafted. So I just took in my scissors and created that. So this is what I'm showing you guys here. And right here, I'm just explaining in the video that um, I'm going to be dividing the upper part of this back pattern from the lower part because I still want to give it that whole um, see-through illusion effect at the back. I want the upper part to have this um, tool illusion there. So as I'm sewing in this video, you un you understand what I mean. So I just um, cut out the upper part from... I just basically divided the upper part from the lower part. 
okay so I'm going to go ahead and cut out all my patterns on my lace fabric my satin my duchess my lining like I'm cutting all my patterns on basically every fabric that I'm going to be using to make this gown first of all I cut it on the lace I'm also going to cut out the front as you can see here this is um, the lower part of the front um, pattern as you can see I'm cutting everything I'm going to do the same thing for the main fabric the lining and also I'm also going to cut out the padding for this um, dress as well okay so this is how far i've come i told you that i'll be using an illusion net towards this um area all the way to the waist this is exactly how my pattern was and like i said before this is not really a beginner um friendly tutorial you need to know the basics on how to draft a basic bodies a shopless bodies you need to know how to sew um different necklines and all that so this this was padded i didn't do the bust cajun instead i padded this with the most thickest wording that i have so this is how the inside looks like there is no seam allowance showing everything i don't know if you guys can see the padding see the padding inside okay everything there's no seam allowance on the outside you can't see anything so here is here it is so this is the neckline i doubled the neckline as you can see and then top stitched it i'm going to be embellishing the top part so that you don't get to see this um thread on the outside i'll also be adding extra stones to this um area as well so don't worry you guys are going to see the outcome of this all right so this is the padding and everything so i'm just going to iron it so that this seam can lay down flat and you when you're ironing something like lace and net you don't need to put the iron or something in uh you don't need to make it very hot if not it will burn through the lace and it will burn through the the net so you have to be very very careful when you're ironing net or lace fabrics okay so this is the back of the mermaid gown and so far this is how the back is looking like i decided to do both a lace back and both um and both a um, ring and eyelet so this is the lace back sorry i decided to do both zip and uh, the lace back as well so that's basically it i'm then going to join this back to the front so but so far this is how long it is i don't even like the length i feel that the train is a little bit too small because it's just about 10 inches or 15 inches extra from the normal full length for the front okay so the train i feel that it's I don't like the whole effect so if i'm going to be recreating this thing next time it's going to be longer this back chain will be longer so i'm just going to join this to the front so this is the end result of the, the wedding gown and the patterns that i use to create this is a size 12 i use a uk size 12 measurements to create this but my model is a size 10 so this the gown is slightly bigger than her as you can see from the neckline but if a size 12 is to wear this gown it to fit the person like a glove so i added the sleeves as you can see i also added um the lace patches um onto that center front area that is open so normally you you're not supposed to wear a bra with this wedding gown so even if you wear a bra or not the whole thing will still be fine it will still come out fine and all that because this is because this gown was heavily padded i added more stones i added lace patches to the illusion mesh as you can see and this is it 
so i have a one-on-one -on -one bridal class which i normally host from time to time on how to create everything wedding gown ball gown petticoats wedding veil uh mermaid gown sewing appliques and embellishments so if you want to enroll for a one-on-one -on -one bridal class with me kindly see the details on the flyer on how to go about it and thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you get to see more free sewing tutorials like this